called its football club were formed in 1879 under the guise of St Andrew's Church Sunday School. They played their games on a field next to here which is now partly covered by the Queen's Club and late Victorian housing. turning professional they played at a number of locations dotted around South West London. This included two seasons at Randley Gardens which is now home to the Hurlingham Club. If you would really like to feel part of the club's history why not come for a pre-match pint in the Eight Bells pub on Fulham High Street which at the time doubled up with the team's changing rooms. Simply called Fulham FC, they bought Craven Cottage in 1894. It took two years to prepare the area and on the 10th of October 1896 they played their first game beating the now defunct Minerva FC 4-0 in the Middlesex Senior Cup. There had been a cottage on the site since 1780. It was built by Lord Craven for his wife. The thatched cottage was actually a charming villa set in five acres of woodland, often used by acquaintances of the Prince of Wales who would later become King George IV for secret illicit affairs. This is the Johnny Haynes stand, named after the club's greatest ever player. It was completed in 1905 by Scottish architect Archibald Leach. Today this stand remains the finest example of Leach's work and along with the cottage is Grade 2 listed. Fulham turned professional in 1907, entering the second division where they remained for much of the time before the Second World War. They spent most of the 1960s at the wrong end of the top division and one player that was instrumental in saving the club from relegation was Johnny Haynes, the first player to ever receive a £100 a week wage. In his career he played a record 658 games scoring 158 goals. He also played 56 times for England. The great Pele described Haynes as the best passer of the ball he had ever seen. remembered with a bronze figure standing proudly outside the stand which bears his name. But one of the strangest ever statues to be placed outside any football ground in the world was the King of Pop himself, Michael Jackson. In 2011, a colourful plaster and resin sculpture was unveiled much to the embarrassment of Fulham fans and the amusement of away team supporters. Jackson was a friend of Al Fayed and only attended one game, a 0-0 draw with Wigan. It was meant to commemorate his death. The fans said it made the club a laughing stock, to which our fired replied, if some stupid fans don't understand and appreciate such a gift that this guy gave to the world, they can go to hell. The fans got their wish when current owner Shahid Khan bought the club and the statue was removed and placed in the National Football Museum. <laughs> 